Welcome to lesson number 10, working with services. In our previous lesson, we went over the fonts. In this video, we'll see what services are and how to add them to your MSI installation. Services are programs that run in the background on their own. This is true for many programs, including antivirus software. The difference is that unlike programs launched from the startup folder, services load and execute whether or not someone logs into the system. One way to view the Windows services is to access the services.msc in the start menu. This method returns information about services such as their name, short description, status and so on. Each service has a unique display name that Microsoft has allocated to it. It is the name shown in the Windows Services Windows name column. Service name is the service's official name. Process name and execution path is the name of the process that executes when the service is enabled. And dependencies is a list of extra services that must be present in order for the service to function. These services are found physically on the machine registry in the locations shown in the screen right now. In terms of MSI, we need to consider two tables. One is service install, which handles service installation, and the other is service control, which handles how services act, such as stopping a service before installing an MSI and restarting it afterwards. Advanced installer makes it simple to add and manage services. Let's go to the files and folder page and add an executable if we have a project open. We'll consider this executable as our service. Now that we added our file, let's go to the services page. Click the new service button and then choose the previously uploaded executable. Advanced Installer, as you can see, added two new operations. The first is under Services to install and it contains our sample executable as well as all the attributes we discussed previously, such as the service name, display name, location and so on. You may also customize how your service starts, in this case automatically, how it handles problems, the service type and many other things here. The second operation is contained in the control operation section. Looking at this section, we can see that this is where we manage what happens to the service during MSI installation and uninstallation. For example, when we install an MSI, we want the service to start by default, right? In addition, when we remove our MSI, we want to first halt the service and then destroy it. After we added our service and defined the control operations for it, if we have a look in the table editor, we can check the tables for service install. As you can see, Advanced Installer automatically updated the tables with the information that was previously added in the graphical user interface. Also, the service control table is populated with the actions that will occur during the installation and uninstallation of the application. Isn't it simple? More tutorials may be found in our user guide, which I will link in the description. In the following video, we'll have a look at ODBCs. All the information covered in this video and more in the MSI Packaging eBook. Check the links in the description.